So this is Sarabi, and she is a Seal Point Siamese cat. And she's called a Seal Point based on her color. So when Siamese cats are first born, they are completely white, and the color develops on the coldest parts of their body as they grow. So think about when you go out in the snow in the winter. What's going to get cold first? It's going to be your fingers, your toes, your nose, your ears, and if you had a tail, it would probably be cold too. So there's a lot of different point colorations in Siamese cats, but because Sarabi is dark brown, she's called a seal point. Now, Siamese cats are the most dog-like breed you're going to be able to find because they're so intelligent and so loyal. So Sarabi is like my little shadow. She follows me around everywhere. If I'm sitting, she's always in my lap. She's also been trained to sit and lay down, and her favorite thing to do is play fetch. Now, no matter how many toys I buy her, nothing compares to the marvelous hair tie. It's her favorite thing. She's obsessed with them. So having a Siamese cat is the best of both worlds. It's still a cat, so you don't have to take it out to the bathroom, and you still get the loving companionship of a dog. So does anyone here have a cell phone? Of course, probably everyone. If you're anything like me, it's glued to your hand. You're taking pictures all day with it. So here at the Cincinnati Zoo, we have a program called the Saving Species Campaign, where we collect and recycle old cell phones. Now, I know that I've had quite a few different phones in my life, but I never had any idea that you could recycle them until I came here to the zoo. So by recycling old cell phones, we are able to cut down on Colton mining. Now, Colton is a mineral that's found in the wild of Africa, where animals like Saya live. Um, and if you don't know, there's only about 5,000 black rhinos left in the world. So I just want you guys to know that you're able to help them out right here in Cincinnati just by recycling your old cell phones. So it's a really cool thing that we do here and definitely take advantage of that. So I know you guys are probably wondering why they're called black rhinos when Saya is more of a gray color. Well, that's because when the first Dutch settlers came into Africa, they misinterpreted the Africans' word for wide for white, so they named the white rhino after that. And um, they chose the name black rhino just so they could tell the species apart. However, the real difference is in their lips. So if you look at Saya, you're gonna be able to see that she has a flexible prehensile lip that allows her to grab and pull leaves off of bushes and shrubs because she's a browser. Whereas the white rhinos, they have a wide squared off lip and that allows them to eat grass more easily because they're grazers. So when you guys see an African rhino, you're going to be able to tell them apart now. Just look at their lips. So how many of you guys saw the big rhino statue as you came into the zoo? It's kind of hard to miss, right? All your kids are probably like, yeah, let's climb on it. <laughs> so here at the Cincinnati Zoo, we think that rhino black rhinos are a really big deal. Um, they're actually called an umbrella species. So by protecting them, we are able to protect all other species, plant and animal alike. 